Dominique Ducharme. One of the greatest Montreal Canadiens coaches of our time, Serge Zemmour, was recently interviewed by The Athletic. And while this guy has been labelled public enemy number one amongst Hab fans across the planet right now, it's still interesting to hear his side of the story, you know? There's always two sides to every story. And being a head coach is tough. You always walk in as a hero and you always go out as a zero. That's just how it is. But anyway, in Dom's interview, he basically says that he was left in the dark by the new management of the Canadians. Oh, so shitty dog. You know what I mean? As soon as Bergevin was fired, that was it for Ducharme. He was officially out of the loop. Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon began to treat him like he was Corey and Trevor on the Trailer Park Boys. Dom would say, quote, that's the side of it that hurts, or that's the most disappointing to me, is not having the chance to sit down with them to tell them how I saw hockey. If the plan was to lose the most games we could and play the young players, I would have liked to have known because I would have had a different approach with them. I was trying to squeeze as much as I could everywhere to try and get some results. I saw teams that had cancelled games because five of their players had COVID. Well, we had 10 and we had another eight that were injured and we still played. Bam. Easy, easy. Now, as much as we want to rip this guy to shreds right now, that piece of information right at the end, I mean, you can't deny that. The Canadians last year at one point nearly had to play their entire AHL team. Things were looking pretty bleak. We had pit licks running around everywhere. We had dolphins in the lineup. It was a chaotic scene to say the least. Now another part of last season that really chaps Dom's ass is how Cole Caulfield seemed to absolutely catch on fire when Marty St. Louis was introduced as the new head coach. And it's not so much that, you know, Caulfield started to put up points, he started scoring again, but Ducharme gets annoyed when he hears that he was the reason why Caulfield struggled at the beginning. And here's what he had to say about that, quote, Hearing that sucks. I bet it does. Everyone was saying that he would score 40 goals before the season even began. If he'd had a good start, he could have very well done it. But Caulfield got stuck in a spiral and the fact that the team was struggling didn't help him individually. When I hear things like that, it's as if I didn't want Caulfield to score 40 goals. He goes on to say that he would have loved it if Cole went on to score 40. And I don't even know how to react to that. I think that Marty, you know, he obviously helped Cole along. He boosted his confidence a bit, pumped his tires, made him feel six foot eight. Cole used to look into the mirror and see The Undertaker at one point with Marty behind the bench. Now, Caulfield might have still snapped out of his bunk, you know, had Ducharme still been behind the bench. We don't really know that, but the timing is definitely suspicious. Ducharme would also say, quote, we were always seen as the team that went to the Stanley Cup final that couldn't win. The coaching change sent a message to the fans and the players that were rebuilding. We're going to put our faith in the young players. The result was no longer important. Martin St. Louis could talk about moral victories, but me, if I talked about moral victories, I'd get ripped. And there you have it. He did sound a little salty right at the end, but at the same time, I kind of get it. Overall, I feel like Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon, they made the right decision. I was never really some kind of a Ducharme super fan anyway. I always felt that he lacked communication skills. I'd rather watch paint dry than hear that guy talk for 10 minutes. But that's it. He's gone now. I wish him the best on his future endeavors. It must suck going out the way he did. But uh, who knows? Maybe Ducharme gets another job one day soon. Even as an assistant coach in the NHL. Or maybe he's a head coach in the AHL. Or hey, how about this idea? Maybe the Florida Panthers hire him. And we go on to get bedared that way. God, why am I such an asshole? Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know what you think of the Dusharm interview down in the comment section. Do you think he's ever going to work again? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to pour battery acid over the thumb of the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.